Hello, my fellow quarantined working from home friends. My name is Kara Edwards. I'm a professional voice actor and I've been working from home for the past 14 years. So I thought I would put together a quick and dirty little video of some things that I have learned along the way about how to schedule your day. When you go in an office, you have somebody who's telling you, hey, it's time to take lunch. Hey, this project is due at this specific time. Um, hey, you need to leave work for the day. You've done enough. Um, that doesn't happen at home. And to make things even more complicated, now we're also homeschooling our children, those of us who have kiddos. Once I have that figured out, maybe I'll make another video, but for now, here we go. What have I learned in the past 14 years? Uh, I have a little list down here because I'm going to forget things. Um, first of all, get your housework done at the beginning of the day. When you wake up, you make your coffee, you eat your breakfast, do those dishes. Put the laundry in the wash. Do the little cleanup around the house because when you're working from home and you're having to go through the kitchen to get to the bathroom when you need to use the restroom, you're going to see those dirty dishes and they are going to drive you absolutely insane. So get all of the housework done so that is just out of the way. If that means starting your day an hour later or starting your morning an hour earlier, whatever you need to do, trust me, it will make a huge difference if you're not thinking about little chores that you could be doing at the exact same time you need to be working on your projects. Second of all, take a lunch break. Take a lunch break. It's like people forget to do this all the time. I do it too. I'm just going to keep eating. I'm working. I'm editing something and I'm going to just keep snacking. No, take that break during the day. You're going to be so much more productive in the second half if you take a break. Use it to watch a little TV maybe because my third suggestion, don't turn on a TV if you're working. If you've got it in the background, trust me, it's like Facebook. You're going to totally get sucked into the TV and you're going to be way less productive. I do not have a television set anywhere in this studio because I know I would get completely distracted if I was able to look at it. So again, use your breaks. That said, make sure you end your day. Obviously, you're going to end your day. Find a time that's like six o'clock, seven o'clock, I don't work past X time. Obviously emergencies come up, things are all out of whack right now, but if you can end your day and try not to work on weekends, you're gonna be so much more focused in those hours that you are actually working. Finally, as I look at my list, <laughs> keep a to-do list. Duh, Kara. I know it, it kind of is probably an obvious one, but it makes a huge difference for me if I just keep a running list of all the things that I need to be doing and I can mark them off as I go. It just feels good to know that I'm accomplishing something every day. Also, Google Calendars has been an enormous help for me. I schedule every project when it is due, what I should be doing, if I have any recording sessions, meetings, phone calls, any of that, that all goes in a Google Calendar. So I hope Something in here has been a little bit helpful. I know this is a crazy time and we are all in this together. I've said that a lot lately. It's in like every commercial. <laughs> Stay well. Thanks.